This is Excel spreadsheet example 1.2. So our purpose is we want to find values of x that solves this, a function. So here we have a quadratic function, x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. We want to find the values of x that solve this. Now we can factor that, and you might see the factorization here. Um, but we want to look at examples. Maybe it's not as clean to factor. And how do we go about solving that? So we want to set up in Excel spreadsheet 1.2 a way to solve that. So we want to set this up such that we're always drawing upon A, B, and C, and we can just insert those numbers in depending on the example we're looking at. So the example we had was that A was 1, B was 4, and C was negative 12. So now we're going to come to our X, and we're going to just graph this out to see how it goes. So we have X, 0, and 1. We're going to spread that all the way out to 10. And now we insert Y. Well, Y is AX squared plus BX plus C, and we're going to draw upon these values. So y is equal to ax squared, so we're going to choose this a, and we want to anchor that by hitting f4 times x quantity raised to the second power, plus b, and we want to anchor that by hitting f4, times x plus c, and we want to anchor the x, or anchor the c, sorry. Okay, so now we get those, we bring those down, and now we get those numbers, and we want to graph this out. Okay, So I'm going to insert my line chart. I'll do it with dots. So I put that there. I'm going to select the data real quick, and make sure that these line up to these values of x. And there I have my graph. Now one thing I note here is this is a parabola, and it's not quite... Oops. Let's bring this to, this, to your screen. So the whole thing's not there because it, it should be a U-shape, a smiley face. And so it might be the case I just don't have enough. My X is I need to make it go negative. So let's start with this at negative 5, negative 4. And bring that down so we go from negative 5 to 5. And there we're getting a little closer. Okay, so we see it crosses the 0 over here. We see a little shape. But let's go ahead and keep this expanded. So what I can do is I can start this at negative 10, negative 9 and go to zero, but then I'm losing the other side, and I can just highlight both of these and drag those down. And go all the way to positive 10, and then just up, make, update my graph to represent that. So I'm gonna select data. My series one, I want the values to go from, not just all the way there, but all the way down here. And my X values, by editing these, come all the way down going from negative 10 to 10 and now I have a lot better picture of what this graph actually looks like. Okay, so I graphed out that function but now I want to find out the important parts of this function. Okay, so the important parts if I look at this are really going to be where it crosses the y-axis at 0 or where y equals 0 and as well as the vertex with this very minimum point. So we have equations that help us solve this. So the x-coordinate of the vertex is negative b over 2a. So this is equal to negative b divided by... Now make sure you have in parentheses 2 times a. If you don't have that parentheses, it's going to give you not the best answer. In fact, the wrong answer. So negative 2 is that vertex. So it reaches its minimum here at negative 2. Now the root equations, this is where we have our quadratic equation. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we want to insert that in here where one of these is negative b plus the square root. The other one is negative b minus the square root. So here we're going to do this equals. Now I'm going to put this whole, th start with the parenthesis. Because the whole thing needs to be divided by all over 2 times a. So we're going to start with that. And now I need to make sure I put in this parenthesis what I want. So I want negative b, and I'm going to start with plus the square root. So I do sqrt and start a parenthesis, okay, plus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, and then put a parenthesis there. And so one root is 2, and that, 
that should be right about here. So I have that, and I'm feeling pretty good about myself. The next one I need to do is negative b minus the square root. Okay, so I'm going to start with everything is divided by 2 times a. I should do an equal sign to get that. And make sure you have to have everything divided by. So you make sure everything's in parentheses and 2a is under there. And now I have negative b minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c and negative 6. And so that's how I set up that equation. So I can double click on this to see it's negative b over 2a. I can double click on that to make sure. And what's nice is once I get this template saved or created and it's correct, I can save it. And then all I have to do is just change this. So let's suppose that instead of x squared plus 4x minus 12, I have 3x squared minus 112. It's just some random number. So now all I have to do is insert my values for a, b, and c. So a in this case would be 3, b would be 4, and c would be negative 112. So 3, 4, negative 112. And that there is what the graph looks like. And it tells me both my vertex and each unit root. This is a very important spreadsheet to save. So I encourage you to save it and be familiar with how to recreate it in Excel.